to the section. I got my two best friends here. This is our first podcast. <laughs> we got the ballet, the cupcakes. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do mm-hmm. some. Cheers to us. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> to the good life, to the happy life. Yes, love that. New beginnings. Yes, in the section here, this is where we exclusively ball and we inclusively fall. Okay? Exactly. Definitely. What's up, y'all? So, it's your girl, Gay Monet. I'm one of Baltimore's hottest upcoming MUAs. <clears throat> I'm only six months in the game and I'm already a beast at this shit. Check me out on IG at underscore Monet Mate. And yeah, come and get slayed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh, what's good, y'all? It's the man, Mr. Jenny, himself. I'm Jew, a barber, a farmer, a DJ, and an artist from Baltimore and Baltimore. You can check me out on Instagram at Genuine Love. What more can I say, y'all? We brought, we spreading Genuine Love out here. That's the lifestyle. Yeah. And I'm Rhea from Galleria. I am the original music aesthetic. I interview all the local Baltimore artists, so follow me on Instagram. Right, see. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, you really out here doing your thing, so keep thank doing it. You. Don't get me started. I'm serious. I really like admire what you're doing, and think you know, there's nothing in our city that I've seen so far that's really doing that. So I think we should keep it up. Thank and you. You gonna take it far? You gonna make it far? Yeah. It's like everybody, you know, everybody always dreams of like being on a big screen and stuff like that, but nobody really takes the measures to mm-hmm. make sure you get there. Mm-hmm. Like, I it's think people good. be scared too. Like you have to start oh, from yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always yeah. say that. I always say fear. that. Fear will hold you back from a lot of things. But I don't know. I think it was Will Smith who said, like fear, like everything that's great is on the opposite side of fear. So I always try to look at things like that. Like mm-hmm. let me just do. It. Even if I'm scared as shit, okay. I'm gonna do that shit okay. because it's something great on the opposite that's side of that. Like I'm gonna do that you shit. Gotta, you gotta be. You like had to. You had to. Somebody pointed out a quote to me. I want to say it was last week that said, "There's no trade." If it going the extra mile mm. like when you out there getting it doing your thing doing shit that nobody else is doing like you're not gonna see nobody at all it gets lonely it gets lonely, lonely, lonely at the top lonely. it gets lonely at the top it gets lonely at the top the truth. and i'm glad you brought that up because you told me that on facetime the other day and that's why i wanted to pull y'all in and do a podcast Definitely. Mm-hmm. because i'm like when we be on facetime we be on the phone for hours <laughs> hours <laughs> We definitely get into it. Hours, yes. And a lot of stuff, like, we're not the group of people that's going to just discuss media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like we want to get into real life. Real life shit. That's literally like, what it's about. Real life shit, because, you know, that's, that's, that's just what it is. Like, you can't do nothing but kind of, like, when I talk to my friends, you guys, and just like, in specifically, mm-hmm. um, I'm talking about things that I'm going through and then how to get through it because I feel like we all kind of can connect to each other in some type of way. And we so, go through shit. The same type yeah. of like, shit. Everybody, everybody does. Shit. Instagram don't advertise the best shit. It doesn't. Through, you know? and and the, only the glamour. It's a highlight reel. See, like, we see our parents go through shit, but nobody's really saying, like, damn, I'm sad as a bitch. I'm sad as a <laughs> well, bitch. I'm really depressed. <laughs> I'm really like, depressed. Like, for real. Like, yeah, not like, real talk, not uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. I can't really eat. Like, uh-huh. I really cannot mm-hmm. eat. Like, I don't really want to talk to nobody. Like, you know, yeah. people, I feel like people, I don't think they want to talk about it because they don't want to look like they're weak or whatever, but yeah. the, they don't want to look vulnerable. And it's crazy because we all go through the we same So shit. I feel like that brings up the conversation of ego because mm-hmm. you, if, when you're mm-hmm. operating out of the ego, you are selling yourself so short. So, so short. Because so you're not short. Uh-huh. 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 You're like, only hurting yourself at the end of the day. You are. Because mm-hmm. when you really open up and really talk about some shit, that's when you really heal. Like, I think, I don't know who it was, but you know how they say when you, you go through something, you like, you go through something, yes. you go through it. Yes. Literally, like, you really just have to take in all of that, those things and kind of feel it and go through it. It's okay to talk about it. And, and t- instead of you're still holding that pain. You're holding that yeah, pain. Yeah, people so in and out. So in and out. Oh God. Mm-hmm. Like real bad. So so yeah. So I want to go back to how we all met. We went to high school together. I met Deja on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Day Monet. I'm one of Baltimore's hottest upcoming MUAs. Yeah, check in. Get in up with me. Like, yeah, let's get into it. Come get your face beat <laughs> by one of the best. Period. <laughs> and one thing about Day that, like, could, like, made me click for you was you had, we, this is when bundles, like, first started popping, right? <laughs> she had the 24-inch before oh, everybody yeah, else did. That. And, that, yeah. but that's the thing, though. It, she would wear it wavy, but she would bond curl it. <laughs> I'm like, 
like, why would she just wear the natural yeah. pattern? Yeah. She yeah. would yeah. want curly. Every, and she told me one day, I want curly hair every morning. Every morning. And ever since that day, whenever my I stood with my hair straight, and whenever it started getting oily or old, I, I curl it. And I would do it every morning. I had, uh, um, I had a, I guess, like a bad bitch complex in high school. Because let me tell y'all why. Yeah. Originally, in freshman year, I came to school, and I thought I was looking like a bad bitch. Right? And I seen the other bitches. I said, oh, you bitches is up here. Let me get up here. But after that, I said, it's up. I'm going to get me some hair. I'm going to buy me the best fucking, uh, I'm going to dress this fucking uniform the fuck up. Y'all bitches is not shitting on me. Mm -hmm. Fresh me, because I, I didn't know what to expect. You know, it's just me and I, I have a brother. So it wasn't like I yeah, had other like siblings to really look up to, like how you dressing. I knew how to dress, but... I wasn't like high school level, yeah. so it's like, oh yeah, you bitches about to get this yeah. now. I'm about to I'm get, not, get you. Yeah. Yeah. I did not get swag till probably like late tenth grade, eleventh grade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. it took me a little minute, but I feel like I still, and I feel like this way about all of us, we still had like oh, something we was had, always we still trendy. We still, trendy we still little had our own little I'm style and lie. stuff. Even sometimes to this day, I'd be like, why did I wear? <laughs> no, for real. But all the time, we really probably was on the song. Like, oh, we were so creative, so creative, so just out of the box and didn't give a fuck. Another yes. thing, too, I'm, I'm like the fuck it person. Like, fuck it. Mm -hmm. I'm these fuck it that's how I am because I like it. I like, I like it. it, and that's all that fucking and matters. Well, like, I feel like it's the confidence. That it's the confidence. Mm -hmm. Definitely the confidence. Because you could be, you could be, like, even, I don't know if you ever heard people say this, but if you like the ugliest bitch, but you still think you that bitch, you gonna be that bitch because nobody, no, 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 nobody can tell you nothing. That's so true. Nobody can tell you nothing. She got that shit on. She got that shit on. And even if you look sexy, oh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it like it's the best shit I got on. I'm, my mind is gonna bring me there to that true. level. So you are not gonna be able to tell me shit. My confidence is gonna make me look like I'm Beyonce. And yeah. that's just <laughs> And then I had G, we had homeroom together, and you used to just make me laugh. <laughs> and to this day, if I FaceTime you, you'd be like, oh, you want to play. I'd be like, I need to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna be able to hear that. Um, I just be like, chilling. You gotta make sure you got a cigarette. I'm like, you gotta laugh. But you know, <laughs> real, 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 but no, real, real talk, genuine, though. So they talk, just was like, yeah, we just, it was just, and then birthdays was close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Hey, Cap, yep, Capricorn. Yep. So, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Dang, you a Capricorn? Yes. Twenty fifth. I always attract y'all. Right. Mm -hmm. really? I'm a yeah. Cancer, you know, Cancer. Yeah. What's your sign? What's your sign? Yeah. Okay. Cancer, I feel like I fuck with. I know. Matter of fact, you're the only <laughs> cancer I know, honestly. Real? So it's funny because yeah. I don't know a lot of cancers, neither. Wow. I think I know maybe like two or three. Um, the men to me are different than the females. I totally agree, and I, I hate like it full so on. many signs are like that. Though. It's a like it's like that a lot. Like, oh god! One thing I can say, I feel like the men and the women are like totally alike to all Leos. Mm, totally I will say that. I, I have nothing but Leos in my family. A really hard force. Yes, okay. you do. Well, yeah, nothing but Leos in my family. I've only, I think, dated a Leo. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like... Big main character Big energy main character all the time. 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 They can't help themselves. But they're good people, I mean, but they yeah. just are like... I'm not going to lie. Wrong. They're like wrong. They are like wrong crazy. Yeah, sometimes it can be. Sometimes but it's I definitely too tight. Shit, mm -hmm. Like, it's that laid back kind of Leo that's just kind of strong that's with himself. Like, yes. My cousin Jessica is like, yeah. Only the one person. But then it's them outside ones. It's that's like, kind of like, like I said, raw. Real Leo. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like, no, for real. Relax. Okay, relax. But, you know, they, I don't think they can help themselves, but that's neither here nor there. What's your so. favorite song? A Taurus. I think Taurus are like really genuine, real down to earth. Um, and just sweet, like, and real passionate. Ah, I, I mean, I guess after that, I would say like a cancer, cause I just, I mean, they're emotional, but I just love how passionate they are at the same time. So, yeah. He gotta be a water sign, but specifically a Pisces. <laughs> Shout out to the Pisces. But I also love Scorpios. I love Virgos. I would say my sign is the best sign. But I will say, for whatever reason, 
a lot of people be um a lot of people don't feel my sign but a lot of people also say wow i didn't know you were a capricorn um i feel like a sign that would be like also i feel like the best sign um Virgos are really good people. Like, Virgos are good friends. I fuck with Virgos. My favorite sign is a Taurus. Really? Yes. And it's the male and females are both alike to me. They're so fun. They are so sweet, so laid back. And, and we're really compatible like that. And I, I don't know if that's why, but mm -hmm. Taurus are so like, One of my best friends over, Taurus. yeah. Taurus give me a run for my money a little bit. Really? It's like, they, like, we'll hit it off in the beginning, but then they may do something that's a little weird to me. I mm -hmm. feel like that's my mm -hmm. experience with Taurus. Mm -hmm. I agree with that slightly because they all like that's weird. that's Libras and Scorpios to me. Scorpio. I love Scorpio. Oh. They're they like bad for me. The yes, women in the bed. They're for everybody. But they, I love them. And we <laughs> click. I love like, them. And they want to do everything I want to do whenever I want to do I love them The thing I don't like is like, they switch fast. They switch really fast. Like, but I think, I, I don't even know what the real is. And I'm never a person. I never like to be like, Oh, Zodiac, this is who Yeah, you are. I'm not a big Zodiac, I don't but like I just think it's interesting when people do match up to the Zodiac. Yeah, 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 definitely. Leo's I love Pisces. I, oh I feel God. like I've recently been surrounded so by Pisces. When we talk about favorite <laughs> signs, I'm not going to lie. Like, as much as I hate a fucking Pisces, I love me a fucking Pisces. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I mean, they're good people. Fucking, they're really good They really people. got good hearts. So that's good really hard to be. Y'all, first of all, you they will fucking let you rob them. <laughs> they are they have a good heart. heart. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But at the same token though, like sometimes it's one of those things like when they see shit for them, they see it for them. Yeah. And I feel like anybody can fucking be like that. But with a Pisces, like their thing is because I'm so fucking nice, you should be honored. You should be literally angry. in my perspective of things, and I'm never like it took me a while to understand like the reality of this, but you do shit because that's what you want to do. Yeah, and that's just and how so it is. I'll, yeah, period, yeah, period. Yeah. And even me, like I would never want nobody to say that to me, but that is the truth. Like you, you did that because you wanted to do it. And so, be like, so I'm good, right? Uh -huh. But you can't really get mad at nobody but yourself sometimes because like you don't want to like okay maybe one time. All right, that's cool. Two times, all right, bitch, you might have got me right there. Mm. But like over and over and over again, it's like yeah. you cheat. Like that's a decision for real. Fool me yeah. one, shame on you. Fool I don't me. know. I feel like Capricorns can get tight real quick. They can. Yeah. Yeah. They they can. Capricorns is it. about the business. Like I'm not ashamed of it. They don't okay. play. They gotta know every detail. They got they like they they just real particular. And they, I think that's why I attract them because they balance the cancer. We just go with the flow with most yeah. stuff. Even if you are organized, I feel stuff. like that's all my like all my friends though like really? mm -hmm. oh, whatever i'm just gonna wake up like some yeah. shit like i don't know <laughs> i cannot be like that like i'm i can to a certain extent like, but i'm really extent. like i really need, I, to I, I need to know i need to i don't know that's just what would i i've always been like that like i need to know like even down to appointments and shit like that like my schedule might be free for the day but i feel like I don't just want to take you like, oh, I'm going to hit you up a little late. Like, tell oh, me what yeah, time. Oh, yeah, no. Tell me exactly. what time. I, I'm definitely I got stuff to do in my day. Yeah. Even if it's nothing. I <laughs> like, also love Sagittarius and Virgos. Iffy. <laughs> No, my best friend is a Virgo. I fuck with Virgo. Mari's a Virgo. Okay. See? I love good, Mari. Good. Definitely love good energy. Shante is a Virgo. The key is a Virgo. Okay. Like, good okay. person. They just still be laid back. Like, even if they got a strong back, person, yeah. they still laid back. Yeah. Um, who, what other sign did Sagittarius. you say? Sagittarius. Um, no comment. It's oh. like, I would say it's like almost no like an Americana for real. Because sometimes mm. like I can get like real fucking bossy. Like, mm. Oh God! It's oh, I can't bad. even say mm because I'm not sure. It's bad. Yeah, it's I can't bad. even say like, that. Sometimes when I want shit, and sometimes like I'm gonna be so real, like I feel like that comes from a place where other myself. people have yeah. 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 short shit. And sometimes like, it never want to give like nasty. Ooh, let's more. talk about checking ourselves. Real check me, my friend Tinka check me, um, Jay check me, my friend Mercedes check me, like everybody, my mother, my father. <laughs> My whole family need to be checked. All of them. <laughs> like, we mask everything. Uh, we make er jokes and stuff. But y'all are addicts. <laughs> y'all have mental health issues. Y'all need to heal. Y'all need to heal. And y'all not doing nothing but affecting the younger generation. My little sister is like, she don't take no mess from nobody. She question everything. Oh, well, so-and-so said that. So, like, she's showing them, like, y'all a mess. Oil.
Because I was mm. just talking uh, to Rhea about how, I don't know if this is kind of the same thing, but me and her, like, we would get into it, and I was telling her, like, you're my only friend. Well, I won't say my only friend, but you are the first person that showed me, like, it's okay to kind of move past it. Because I would get into it with her, and I'm like, I hate this bitch. We not cool yeah, no more. Cool. And she was being, like, the biggest person. She would be like, love you, see you, like, call me in the house. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't calling you. I yes. don't fuck with you. My definition of check is I need somebody to tell me when, not even necessarily when I'm wrong. But, like, damn, this is hard. I want to be checked when I know I'm not operating from a good place, when they know I got an attitude, when they know I feel a way about something. Like, I want somebody to be able to come in and tell me, you need to, like, like what's your attitude? What's your problem? Like, let's figure it out. Because most of the time, if you really just mad and got a bad attitude, you ain't going to have no answer anyway. And I feel like I need that. Apologize. You just need time. For you just like, need time. And time is good too. Disagreement not too long ago, and it was an awkward thing. Like I ain't want to say nothing. <laughs> they ain't want to say nothing. <laughs> but we both knew that we was wrong in some little type of way for real. <laughs> but like a couple weeks have passed, and she's like, I don't know. I'm like you said, Capricorn shit. Like I'll say something first. Don't get me wrong. Right. But I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm that one. <laughs> Right, period. Yeah. Well, I, sometimes I'll wait for you to hit me up because it's like, I'm you uh -huh. And so she ended up hitting me up for real, whatever. And I just spoke my piece. Like, you know, I honestly, I, I didn't want it. To, like, it's nothing like that. Yeah, that's not I how we be. rock. Yeah, fuck no. That's not how we rock. Like, I would never want it to be like no type of thing like that. Mm -hmm. And reconciliation for real from that. Yes. Some yes. shit is not worth it. Like, it's not worth I it. I totally agree. Even though we already wrecked us out, my friend name is Jay, and I do love you so much, Jay, and I'm so sorry. Also feel like because I'm sensitive to typical cancer, I'm extremely sensitive, so I always had to check in with myself whenever <coughs> something pop up. Because mm -hmm. my reaction is to like go off, but I'm like, hold on, Hell yeah. what it really just happened, and why did it trigger you, and what part, like, where is the discrepancy you at? And most of the time. It don't be nothing. <laughs> yeah, or like it just simply takes communication. Like, and Literally. people don't want to talk. Oh, God. People rather be, and I, I used to be people, I'm learning like to work on it, but Still real stubborn, day. real Every like, day. I'm, it's just nothing to talk about. But honestly, it's, it take, you know. You know what? One time I was dealing with somebody and I feel like I went above and beyond to be like, all right. The, and that's, 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 how, that's how I'm a communicator now. It, at that time, it was like, I'm going to communicate every single thing. I'm going to be straightforward. I'm going to work with them. It's a learning process. And they took advantage. It's a learning process. And now that's something I'll say, like, as we get older, and we have to find a balance with that for real. Yeah, that's great. Because now I'm in more so of a space, like, I'm learning when to communicate shit and knowing also when to, like, it's Shut not the hell up. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it because you'll be wasting your breath sometimes for mm -hmm. real life. Also, when everybody have differences of opinion. Exactly. Mm. Some people you cannot persuade. Like, it's no persuading them. And I'm more of a person, like, I'm into compromise. Or I wouldn't even say compromise. Mm -hmm. I want to hear your side. Right. So I can tell you where you're wrong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I can argue my shit. And put my plan in it. But no, but no, for real. Um, with the farm that I be working with, shout out to Plantation Park Heights, by the way. Mm -hmm. Plantation Park Heights, that's the place to fucking be. Um, Plantation Park Heights is a Caribbean-based farm in the middle of Park Heights. It's between Keyworth and Shirley. Um, yeah, like, it's just a good-ass place. Like, it's a community-based thing. It's more so, like, it's not like your average community garden type thing. It's more so, like, just a living space, like. You know how Park Heights is, like it's not in it's not in the upper areas like Pikesville with like Jewtown as they would say. Like it's really in the in the middle of the place for real. Uh, when niggas would say the hood. Um the farm that I work with, like something they they have really been a big influence in my life. It's like deeper than the farm and mm -hmm. like just about like status strong as like a powerful black person and you like and you pray it like, right learning how to communicate with the people around you like yeah. farmer chippy that's my farm and mentor he always does this thing like 
we gonna talk and I'm gonna speak my piece and when I'm done I'll say now I listen for your response mm-hmm. and he'll listen to everything you guys say mm-hmm. like the whole thing and it's hard it's, like, it's, it's definitely a challenge hard. but I mean, it's like notes. Acknowledging, <laughs> acknowledging that that is a challenge is step one because then when you go with you're like alright I know it's about to be hard let me do my best to sit here Shreda. and really pay attention to what the other person got to say and sometimes again like we take that one piece like that one piece and then that's we it. ignore the rest of the paragraph that's yeah it. <laughs> and it's like i think some people they don't know how to agree to disagree like it's just like they oh, want to God. just agree i mean they want to they want to just straight we disagree gotta agree. we gotta disagree. Oh, disagree we don't have to agree on whatever the, the yes, issue sir. at hand is okay. like people we just want to straight disagree have you ever had a situation where that has happened and you were able to i mean even if you did have that stop where it was like we can't agree to disagree, but were you able to get past that? And if so, how? I think I've had situations like that, and I think that I've kind of like I've acknowledged that. All right, this person isn't seeing where I'm coming from, so you kind of just you just you just, ch- just, you just charge that to the game. Like, all right, cool. I'm just gonna peep this and and just take I'm note of this or whatever. That's my break times right there. Yeah, that's my break times. Mm. Like when when stuff like that go on, I just need a little second to like you say process the it. process because I have to accept that we're not going to see eye to eye on this thing. And sometimes it'd like, be funny to me when people don't see eye to eye with me on certain <laughs> things. I'd be like, Are what you kidding me? Yeah, like, 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 like who are you? I, my favorite. I'm like, am I crowd call anyone? I'm like, am I crazy? That's our like, number one line. So I'll be trying to understand, like, what's up? Like that. Right, like, what's up wrong with me? Like, bitch, is it me or is it, is it? And then when my friends or you know, any if anybody like tell me I'm not wrong, bitch, I'm not fucking wrong. So it's you. <laughs> it's you. So yeah, it's also, wrong. I like to be checked sometimes, too. I like to be I checked. I love to be I'm, checked. I like to be checked. By my man. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Love you. Don't let you bitches try to check me. Because you will be great. Don't play with me. <laughs> Yeah, but no, definitely. Sometimes, like, um, it is good to be checked. It's good to have friends that will check you, though. Know? But it's also have good to have friends who will allow you to check them as well. Because friends, oh, I have some friends so, yeah. who will check me, but when it's their turn, they, they like, don't hear they don't want to hear it. No, that's not cool. I want a relationship where we can tell each other, we can say whatever the fuck we want about each other. Yeah. It don't have to be that deep, but it's just like, either you got it or you don't. It takes time mm-hmm. to really to get to that level because it took me a long time like bitch don't tell me shit about me right now i'm at the like, we, could, we could talk about it's it it's thing. okay Ooh, the last person i cussed out was like my home girl because i felt like um she's been a sneak ass bitch <laughs> sometimes you gotta be real like like you said checking yourself mm-hmm. like, it all goes back to that like mm-hmm. you know what they might not be lying about you know my maybe i do gotta be a little bit more cognizant exactly and that's exactly and that takes time that takes time it does because i used to be like Yo, you can't tell me shit about me like but I, as i got older i was like okay let me take this in um, or whatever the case may be, because I like to self reflect a whole oh, yeah. lot. Then. It I comes love with it. wanting different exactly. shit out of life. Exactly. Like when you want like truly different shit, or like to elevate on a different level, like. I don't know, just a different type of piece that I see in the world. Right. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of times, I feel like we go over the same like discrepancies over and over and over. So again. where do y'all feel like y'all at right now? What you mean? With that, with that <laughs> growth piece, or even just like mentally. Okay. Right now, I feel like I've been like even I've I've deactivated my social media. I've kind of been I don't want to say distancing myself, but I've kind of been just I, I've just been in a self kind of love type of thing, self kind of healing type of thing. So as though every morning I have like these um these affirmation cards. Mm-hmm. Self care is super important to me, and I say that because. If you don't take care of yourself, if you don't love yourself or pour into yourself, then who fucking will? You know what I mean? Like, nobody is going to place you on a pedestal or place you higher than anything other than yourself. Like, you got to put you first. You are the most important person in your life. You you all you got. You're going to die by yourself. You live by yourself. You die by yourself. Like, that's all you got. You got to take care of you. You got to take care of home first before you do anything. So, that shit is super important to me. Shit. Like I'll do little shit. I'll make little changes in my life that are kind of I feel like are kind of bettering me in so many words. Cause I just oh I'll kind of I'll stop listening to certain this. I just I'm in this aspect where though I'm just kind of like trying to change my ways. Where though I feel whole. Where though I just feel happy. You know. And I'm kind of like I guess I'm kind of like single or whatever. So I'm just kind of growing through that. So I'm kind of like um just in a space where I'm just getting used to being by myself and and learning me. 
and just loving on me and loving mm-hmm. on the people that surround me. But right now, I haven't been doing that so much. But I'm just, it just, I'm just locked in with myself right now. That's all I, I really, it. you know, I that's it. So, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the point right now where like my career goals are kind of taking over my life. So I'm trying to find balance between chase my dreams, make the money, mm-hmm. but oh, still have time for myself. Saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and mm-hmm. and I think that, I think it's going well. I was just telling Day the other day, like, I feel for the first time in my life, I can't see two weeks from now. I used to be able to, like, when I plan, I plan everything. I had to. That's just how I am. But usually I'm like, all right, I could I could picture what the next month look like. I, could, I feel like everything right now is a blur, a big blur, and I've never experienced it. I don't know. So but I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it's not making me sad. It, but I'm, I don't know. I might even feel a little bit excited it about it. I feel like it. I'm getting on to something. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm getting on by ourselves. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know. Like, I feel like that's a good thing. Like, who wants to keep rolling in the same nine to five, da, 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 yeah. the same cyclic thing every single day? So I feel like that's a good thing. Yeah. Growth elevation. Absolutely. Hey y'all, what's up? So today, I know y'all seen this before. Let me just tell you this shit works. Okay? What I feel like the real magic is that it adds, of course it adds to like, you know, your intake. So your body needs more rest to be able to break that all down. So it makes you super tired. And that allows your body to soak up all of the stuff to keep it thick. I have two roommates that actually use this. They have gained weight. They love their bodies now. Shout out to Janetta and Puda. And I think um, it's a lot of people on like like influencers and stuff that use the me too. But two for th- first of all, who wants to wait for shipping? I hate that. And second of all, two for 30. Like, you want to need more than one. So you might as well get both. Cause I feel like you could plan all you want, and that's for any fucking thing. Oh, but God. like, don't I know it? Yeah, don't I know it. <laughs> you could plan all you want, but it's like, I, I like the. I don't know if y'all would watch that Lauren London interview when she was like, what she say, like roll with the, what she say, roll with roll the river, or or, mm. or get something by the rocks, like get mm. like basically, oh, be, you know, meet up by the rocks. Like you just kind of gotta roll with the punches of life. Like that's ooh, to speak on that. Like okay, I was in I think twelfth grade, and Ms. Washington, she told me. Mm-hmm. She said, "I was this when I first kind of started getting serious about my grades because for some reason, y'all, I didn't get serious about my grades like the end of like eleventh grade going to twelfth. And she said, "Why you never? I would go to class, but I wouldn't go like consecutively. So she was like, "Why you never in here?" I said, "Miss Watson, I got stuff going on." She was like, "Oh, that's life. You want to always have stuff going always. on, and that's just stuff for me. And I was young, so I didn't understand. I'm like, you know what? You're right. It's always going to be it's something always changing. Something. We're always going to be constantly evolving. Like life is never going to stop for anything. So since then, I'm kind of like, you just gotta roll with the punches. Like you just absolutely, gotta, you know. So just mentioned something to me saying like." No, you gotta understand. Like no mood is ever stable. Mm-hmm. Definitely, my therapist name is Shree. She's at Tr- Chase Brexton. Um, she's amazing. Like definitely, we be chopping it up for real, and um, give me good insight. Like she's amazing. Lady. It happens every single every day. day. Every time, every day. I learned that shit, y'all. I was like, you right? That should just be sticking with me to this day. day. Shout out to Miss Washington. Yeah, <laughs> we love you. We love you. <laughs> yeah, but she told me that. I'm like. That's, that's some real ass shit. This lady's telling me. Like, yeah, so that's kind of how I live my life now. Like, it's just, now it is what it is. Like, I'm intentional about shit, but at the same time, I don't let shit affect me as much as, much as I used to. to. You gotta keep you, moving. Move forward fast. Move too. forward fast. Real quick. Real quick. Because all the shit is coming. You gotta roll with and the punches. You're gonna miss it. 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 You
ain't complaining about what you look like, but you ain't going to the gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I got a note on my um, I love just shit that's in my face. Mm-hmm. So I got a note on my uh, on my wall that's like um, I'm going to make you so proud, and I look at that shit or like my vision boards. I look at that mm-hmm. shit because I'm like, got you it. have to be, you got to be on your shit with you, like fuck everything else, like you know what I mean. Definitely. So definitely. So your question was, where are we at, like, in life or, like, our healing journey? Like, yeah, where do you feel like you at mentally? So I'm, I'm kind of there basically with both of y'all. Like, my, right now, things, is, things are moving so fast that I don't really have the chance to really sit and bask on, like, small shit or mm-hmm. bullshit. Um, just career stuff taking over and in a good aspect, though. Mm-hmm. You don't get me wrong. Probably hardest shit I've ever been through. Me too. Like, hardest yeah. shit I've ever been through. I'm like, not going to lie. I'm always tired. I'm always tired. Yeah. So, and I'm always working. Every day. Day. I work every day and I'm on call at any moment. At any moment. Not even really because I want the money. Don't get me wrong. It's the and so that's another thing too that I learned. Like oh yeah, we money is shy. Money, man. money is shy. And if you act like you don't fucking want the money, it won't beat you. Mm-hmm. You won't see mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But as far as like me more so, like again, like I'm on the growth aspect. Like I really want more. So tied into humility, sometimes you gotta bite the bullet about shit. Yep. Sometimes yes. you gotta give a little bit more than yep. what you're supposed to. And tapping into myself. Somebody mentioned something i was watching a video about like healing journey and stuff and they were just saying um like locking with yourself to an aspect of like like learn to be alone but don't learn to be like shut don't shut don't shut the world out don't shut yourself out for the world and for a minute i was kind of in a balance of the two now what i will say things are getting a little bit better like i took a break for a little minute i went through a little breakup and stuff like that and Again, like you want different stuff out of life, mm-hmm. and reading books. This book called Think and Grow Rich. I recommend any entrepreneur read it. Like it's a it's a mind changing book, mm-hmm. and that's a lot. That when you're an entrepreneur or anybody in life, period, beyond entrepreneurship, everything is a mental process. Mm-hmm. So you got to tell yourself, like I'm that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like absolutely. Or I can do this, or like all the shit that our parents be saying, like. It sounds like just a dream or you might be selling yourself to some bullshit. Like if you're telling yourself in your mind or you feel like that's what you want to do, you can get it done. But you got to coach yourself. Yes. Yes. You, you, you got to talk like what? what uh, I think it was Muhammad Ali. He say I'm the greatest. I said that before. I, was that yeah. before? I know Drake said that shit. But Muhammad <laughs> Ali really <laughs> he got like, it, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, he, he said that shit before he knew he was. Like you really have to hype. You have to and be, be the biggest hype yes. man. Like, you definitely got to be intentional. And that's what literally. I'm just like being intentional Definitely. I agree with that especially with the whole idea like isolation a lot of people know I'm now in a newly long distance relationship mm-hmm. and it's like weird it's like I'm alone but I'm not, not and either. I always have to I feel like I always gotta compensate for areas that I feel like stuff is missing That's me too though like even in a, like a, a single person's world like I have so many friends it's like I'm not alone Mm-hmm. But at the same point in time, like, and sometimes when you do gotta finally buckle down and get your fucking work done. Yes. I don't yeah. have nobody to sit around me and be like, Right. Oh, what can I do for you? Yeah. Oh, what you doing? Let me sign up for you. For me, for me, me. it'd be the trash. <laughs> oh, I'm God. like, Dad, I just took this shit off. Oh, oh, fucking girl. girl. It's clean. It's the wall <laughs> changes. It's the detail in the call. Like, what the fuck? It's like, I gotta go take this is. shit. Man, that the um, I went to go get my oil change. She like, you don't have a boyfriend. Or I hate that. Oh, you trying to remind me of the shit? Like, get the fuck up. No, I don't. I'm in here. I got it. I, got, I said I'm good. How much is it? How much is it? I'm fucking British. The other day, y'all know I love my. I love the British. That's my baby. I'm never gonna let her go. And I got the shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't even like that. Like, I don't even like that. Like, Noisy, I ain't gonna lie. It's like a big group of old men right there. He like, yeah, baby, you you pretty. Your man ain't tell you get no stern for it. I said, I know, I got stern for. I just gotta put it in there. Mind your business. That's how they be. But yeah, like stuff like that to trade, and it's like. Damn, like, do I really have to do all this shit oh by myself? It'd be little stuff like, I'm gonna go pick this up for you while I'm out so you don't gotta go to the store. Like, uh-huh. well, I wanna stop out and get some ice cream. Curry, like, like, you like, know. I want on Thursdays and we did, the museum be open. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanna go by myself. Look at like, you know, my own bitch. They ain't got nobody saying this. You know why I'm like, so excited about it? Like, I feel like once you. 
learn how to be by yourself. Oh you are indestructible. It's an empowering fucking You are, journey. it's nothing that can touch like, you. Like, really, like, you learn how to be, oh, like, I'm talking laughing on a train like crazy. I'm <laughs> telling you, I can like, I was talking to myself like, I don't know, crazy. But I was like, talking to myself really and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like yeah, it was, was like, I just watched the TikTok. I just watched the TikTok today. It was like me, absolutely nobody else in my house. Yeah, because I just feel as though I'm that good. <laughs> and, and yes, I do. Right. That's really how you have to be with yourself. Like you, really, you are the most important person to you, like in your life. Like, because I be mean, like, I, I don't know if y'all ever done this, but. I feel like when you're in relationships and uh well I know you I don't feel like you do this because I feel like you really be locked in with your business. I be trying. I feel like when you well like young, that's not about when yeah. we were young. It was like we put these people at a pedestal above ourselves. Be above yourself. Yeah, you above, and it's like yeah, I love you, you love so much. I wanna put this into oh, you. But no, yeah. I'm so now no. Buy me your shit on your birthday. Buy me your shit or whatever. <laughs> like no, fuck no. Like no, like Don't mm-hmm. get me started on the birthday. Yeah, child. yeah, that's a whole nother. We're gonna save that for another day because I got some stories. A duty head dummy is just like somebody stupid, like just like a fucking goofball, like this some dumb ass shit, like you don't think. <laughs> what is your fun outside of work? What do I like to do? That oh my goodness, good. y'all! To be honest, sleep. sleep. I be sleep. Mm-hmm. I be sleep. Cause when I can get sleep in, I'm asleep. Cause I'm be I be busy. Like if I'm not doing makeup, I'm at my job or I'm doing something else. So outside of work, I be fucking sleep. I'm not even gonna lie. Like when I do like extracurricular stuff, and I mean like watching YouTube. Yeah. Videos, I'm at work doing that shit. So oh, I'm out of work. I'm sleep. <laughs> like, I be really like like that. Like I be dead to the like world. <laughs> And I like make little noises, like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. about it. The reason that I watch this because I'm real into like crime drama and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Not even TV crime drama, but like, just like police reports, mm-hmm. police calls, like interviews See, that and shit like that. Me. See, I don't know. Like I've I grew up with like young uncles and aunts and shit like that. So I was always the baby watching, watching all the scary movies yeah. and shit like that. Like. Lights off in the dark, going See, upstairs, no. scared as a bitch. Like, oh my god, I seen something. See, like, I know me, I'm gonna be having bad dreams. I'm not with that shit. I see that white. I mean, if I see him on that shit, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be pissed. If I see him you know, doing crazy shit on that, I'm gonna be pissed. It never gave Bloody Mary. Like, it never. Seriously, no, because he was looking a little crazy. Mm. He was yeah. looking a little crazy. And if I see him, like, chopping, they said he was chopping people up. He I'm was. gonna be like. It was some regular sh- Like, it was so weird because, um,. I don't know. I I never want to make excuses for anybody in no sense. Yeah. Like, in mm-hmm. no sense at all. But one thing I will say, um, just looking at like the mental aspect of it, he was really he fucking sick. lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> was reading. Sick. Definitely sick. I say like, he was really, really fucking lonely. Like really, really lonely. They said it had something to do with like how he grew up as a child. Uh, they yeah. say that about everything. They do. They said that. I was like, okay, maybe. Um, but as you say, though, something that I meant to bring up when you said something about like you got to really tell yourself that you that person and stuff like that. Mm. Something that I wanted to add was it starts at home. It starts you know? at oh, home. Oh, it absolutely starts at and home. And it's unfortunate, though, because not everybody can get that. Has and so when you come across somebody that didn't have somebody to tell them like, Oh, you're really the shit. Like my mom brags on me. Yeah, she so my yeah. I'm like, mom, stop talking about yeah. me. Yeah, because they not like me. <laughs> you need that though. Like, you really need that. I feel like it's weird coming up. Like I, my mother let me know I was beautiful. I felt like I was pretty, but I don't remember her ever coming out and saying you're beautiful or you're pretty. And my father, I will never forget. I was like 15, 16. My father, my whole life, he was always on some. What's up, big head? Yeah, little ugly. Like, that was his oh, problem. Wow. And yeah. I'll never forget, my stepmother told him, like, stop telling her that. And I never even thought about it. I was like, my children, this girl, you can't just my father. But yeah, yeah, now that I'm old, I look back. I don't I don't think it impacted me by the grace of God. Yeah. But I'm glad that somebody was able to step in and bring that perspective to things. Because mm-hmm. I have a little sister, like, mm-hmm. and It's a real common thing in black households. That household, shit say, is like, important, y'all. Like, listen, seriously. Even again, like, yeah, shit like, like don't that. Be, <laughs> Yeah, you fucking it up. Maybe just them, the, like little shit, like I think to people. Like I watch, it's just so important to have people who really uplift you in your life. Yeah. Like my yeah. brother, he is one of the people for me. Like 
He be like, you the greatest at this, you this, That's you that, and I don't really like that. He yeah. will tell you, you the, you, you, you. Oh, he make you feel like you higher than God almost. Yeah, like he, yeah, he, he will make you feel like you just can do anything, and I love that. That's I why like I people like, like that. that. Yeah, you gotta have that. Me, you like, had to. Jeez. Like, I feel like people cannot be around me if you don't treat me like I'm a shit. You can. I'm gonna treat you like you. You, you just literally yeah. treat like, me. I'm gonna bring up Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Really, I, it really was like a life. I mean, I hate to say it, but it was uh -huh. a life shifting moment for definitely. me, and I think it was for Jesus. And we shared definitely. that, and that really brought us closer. Mm -hmm. It was a change in my character. I feel like as an I adult, agree. It was like, oh, well, I'm showing up. Yeah, like, and everywhere, I'm this showing shit. up. Uh -huh. I can do this shit and be in my own lane. Like we went in the party for like five minutes. Yeah, we okay. prolonged it. We didn't. Even and we it. we took so much care into like. You know, we got, we got to come, we going to this event, we want to come looking oh, like okay. this. Shardo's event. Yeah, so, yeah. long story short, Shardo, shout out to him, he Shardo. had an um, event yeah. called Green and Gucci. And this is me and G's first time actually going to it, because we always be like, we want to go to something. Some day I've never been. Yeah. I've been one time. Yes, like, literally. One time. So I we like, all right, we about, to, um, we about to pop out, get our outfits together. I think my outfit just never came or, or something like that. And I'm in a house like you with stuff I already got. Don't got time to go to the mall. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. Drew on FaceTime. Drew put something together. I'm like, that's hard. Like I gotta yeah. come on. Put the outfit on. Get the Jew house. Put the hat on with the outfit. G was like, yeah. You know what was going on. G was like, that's it. We had that shit on. We had that shit on. We had that shit on. I'm telling you. And when we that got there, we was like, damn. We the best driver. Why mm -hmm. did we put that shit on? Why? But it, 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 didn't, it didn't feel like, it didn't feel like, damn. It felt like, no, like, we right. wanted that. Like, to see that. But it let us know we're ready for that. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. Not like, only that, having friends like that, like, Rhea used to always, she'd be like, you the shit to me. Yo. And I'd be like, like Cause I ain't gonna lie, yo, I be sleeping with myself a lot and my friends, and that's why you have to have people around you. Remind remind you. Remind you. They be like, you the shit. And I'd be like, you know what? I am. And I, sometimes you really be like, eh. because I mean, I know you like, you know, you know this about yourself, but it's like, it's just nice to hear it's, when it's you need it. Because yeah, it be, it be needed. It be needed. And I remember like the beginning of like, well, not the beginning, but at one point in our relationship, it was more so like you giving me compliments every day, me giving you compliments. And then when we both had that acknowledgement of you make me feel good as a friend. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. it's just a standard now. Yeah. And it's not, it like, yeah. it's never going to be nothing less. Exactly. Like, well, people who know your best traits for you. Yeah, best like, yes. you know when you're not feeling like yourself mm -hmm. type of shit. Like, when you need to make some changes. It just so happened to come out in our looks. Because we in the fashion. We yeah. in the, like, stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I totally agree. Even on the inside. I mm -hmm. think we still do the same Definitely. for each other. Definitely. Yeah, so I'm super excited yeah. to have started this. Um... You know, just so we can have a platform to kind of talk about real life shit. Yes. <laughs> this, is that, this is a safe space for real shit. This is real a shit. Like, super safe space for real shit. shit. No, so so we're going to laugh, we going to cry, we going to chop it up. Like, judgment free zone, judgment -free. literally. Like, just want to get into some things because we know it, it, it's, it's, we're not the only people out here feeling this way. Hell no. And if y'all out here acting like it, y'all need to fucking stop. Yes. Stop. 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 Yes. It's okay. It's literally okay. It's like, killing it's our culture. Okay. It's really killing our culture. Because the black, we, we are, I don't feel like we're taught to really, especially like the men. I don't feel like the, the show this emotion or show that. Like, oh, yeah, we, gotta, no. we gotta be strong black. I used to really like, get yelled at for mm, crying. Yeah. yeah. It's like, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Literally. Like, my fucking feelings are really hurt. My feelings hurt. are hurt. How <laughs> dare <laughs> you? How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? The shit on my back, the though. Like, is not crazy. the window. The parents the is parents wild. Is crazy. You already a big ass parent. I'm like this this Did size. You, know, you like this size. They be buffing shit. Mama, when you come to me, really. Look at you. We used to laugh at her. Like, one time she was so mad. She was like, y'all think it's funny. Come here. She had us sit down. She used to be like, she hit us in our arm, y'all. Because we was laughing. Like, we don't take you serious, bitch. <laughs> oh, my she was God. like this. We was laughing at her. I would never forget that shit. I ain't know that shit was hurting. But I'm like, I'm still going to laugh at you. <laughs> this is bad, bro. Kids kids, they don't have a care. No kids. No kids. I be wondering if kids still get, like, beatings now because. That's a good question. They don't, though. Do they? That's only, my little brother has to do not get no beatings. <laughs> <laughs> only, it's really only if the parent get fed the fuck up. Yeah. And you doing some shit at school. Like, you mm. shit. Like, now you doing too much. Yeah. You making no. me look bad. And for me, it was levels. Like, I, I, 
you shouldn't say that getting popped in my getting popped is one thing. It ain't getting a full on beat in oh, girl. You is in trouble. It's up for you. It's up when you get home. It's like, up. yeah. It's yeah. Up. Not gonna lie, it was those times it was like you didn't have to fucking do that. You didn't even <laughs> do all that. You didn't even you have, have to do, do all that. that. Like, bitch, I learned my lesson. I heard you. We good. A lot of shit could have just been talked about, I feel like. Right, like, I, I lied because I'm scared, ma. I agree. I lied because I'm scared. And I don't know where I picked it up from, so stop asking me where I will not forget, I got beaten because my mom, I remember my mom found out I liked this boy in my class. And he was touching my butt, and I told him, like, you have to stop. I like you, but you can't do that, because my mom said no. <laughs> <laughs> so... My grandma work at the school, whatever. My mother come to school, she like, yeah, the little boy can touch my daughter, blah, blah, blah. I get home, my mother like, so do you like him? I'm like, why should you know fuck with me? I'm the victim. <laughs> I was like, mm-mm. She straight beat me. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Mm-hmm. I, I was, I was like being that. good. I like that shit. I was young too. I like it too, but I knew it was wrong. wrong. Once a year, I went to school. Wow, I moved a lot. I moved a lot. I did. I moved a lot. I moved a lot. I did. I but I went to that lot. one school everywhere. Yeah, I, moved. I tried really, to stay I like wish. one school for real. Like yeah. my parents moved me to a county school one year. I went to private school like for most of my life. Mm. County school was not good at all. Wow. Like a predominantly white school, and it, I just did not have a good time. I got into my first fights there. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> the white, the white, <laughs> white people. <laughs> Tumbling down the hill. Oh <laughs> crazy <laughs> shit. Like, straight crazy shit. They you like, saw what you did. Your ass was going to you were coming. You were not going to be like, the first time I really did get clucked for real. <laughs> it was a big boy, yo. It was not a big boy. Of <laughs> it was a big boy, but after that, like, kind of, like, kind of lying and like, oh, you cannot be that bitch. <laughs> First of all, your parents going to wow you out at home. Yes. Everybody, all your cousins are going to pick on you. All of them. Because they all will pull up. But I'm going to all of us. Uh-huh. But yeah, um, after that, just went back to private school. And that's where I stayed, for real, until um, high school. Mm-hmm. Western. Yeah. But yeah. I do not regret going to Western. Because to be honest with y'all, I didn't want to go at first. I chose, you know how you choose your three top Yes. Yeah. I chose City, I chose Western, and I chose, I think, probably just because... But I wanted to go to city or whatever. So once I got accepted into Western, I'm like, oh, yeah. people think I'm, I, I, I love, we're not gay, all gay at Western. People think I'm gay. People think I'm gay. And then I was like, they going to be talking about me. They're always gay. They're always gay. They're gay. I'm like, oh. So when I went, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And I don't regret it for one yes. fucking second. I feel like I have a similar story. So. I don't know if y'all, like, this happened to y'all, but Weston came to my middle school. Oh. And I remember them being so hyped up, like, and then they had, like, my eighth grade year, they had an open house. And that was the only, like, everybody did, but that was the only one I ended up actually going to. Mm-hmm. And I went and saw one girl, Carlin. We actually okay. went to camp together before Western. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, I'm going here, I'm going here. I was like, all right, well, if I go here, I don't know one person. Like, oh, I'm going there. <laughs> and then, um, you know when, like, you put... If you put one of the big three first, if they accept you, the others automatically. Right. Like, so I put Western City. I think I did Western City probably. Yeah, yeah. it was crazy. I did not know that, though. Like, yeah. they automatically, mm-hmm. like, fuck it. You, yeah. You, you got your choice. Right. You got what you wanted. <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not going to everyone. Yeah, yeah. that's true. My first day of Summer Bridge, I didn't know we were supposed to wear our uniforms. Oh. <laughs> Miss Clay read me down. Ooh. Wow. That's a and if you know me, you know, reading is a verb. Read is past tense. You've been read. Um, and a read is the noun. But it's basically like somebody got in your ass or called you on your shit and they were right. And you have to, like, if you didn't win the battle, you've been read. You no, know, Miss Clay, you know, it was Miss Frost. Mm. 
Look up and down. Like, look me she up and down. And y'all, I had my cutest shit on, okay? <laughs> Curls was popping. Little belly shirt, little shorts. Like, I got so many compliments that day. I remember no my hair. Uniform. How was your hair? Right. I can tell you <laughs> how I had a bulb, I think, but it was a mess though, like the fat ones though. It was like that, yeah. It was like it was like it was trash. It was trash, y'all. I thought I was the shit. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna kill all these bitches tomorrow. Wait, I'm I, mean, I, I didn't think I was gonna look cute my first day, but my curls came out so good. No, I got so many compliments on my hair. The vest. I had on the vest. I never had it. I know I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm like, shit, I did. I'm about to say, you didn't have the denim vest. I had the denim vest because that's how. Because I tried I to, say, you was not I tried to bleach shoes. my name on the bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what was the shoes that you, um, like the Crocs, the little clogs? The clogs. I had a couple different trends. Y'all had the leg warmers. Y'all had the flower I did the leg warmers. I did the flower headbands. I didn't get a pair of moccasins. I wanted a pair of moccasins. She had that shit on. I had all that shit, y'all. She had the shit on. I had that hat. I had that shit. I told y'all, ever since I walked in there, and I looked at the mess nice right here, I said, after this, I'm going to eat all these bitches up every day. I was like, yeah, no. I looked a mess nice right here. No, I was like, yeah. Minute, I feel like I didn't shit. look a mess, but I had <laughs> to grow it by my style. Marriage, y'all. They used to dress me old as shit. Mm. Like, I did not fuck with it. Like, I had to really find my own style type shit. I like, definitely found my yeah, style at My mother said, to this day, I think you had about 50 different hairstyles with your regular real hair yeah. <laughs> going to Western. You had a braid one day, the you hump did. the next day, the boldest day. Really she made you lift it up. You did not wear weave like that. I, she did. I, my mother didn't let me wear weave till fashionette. Oh. That was my first See, but you always mm-hmm. switched it up. I remember the braid. Like, she would be yes. like, I like switching it up. Thank you, girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. so. We- well. Super excited. So it is your first episode. Amazing. <laughs> Super excited yeah. to, you know, get to know y'all. Let us let y'all know who we are. Um Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and we need y'all to do us a favor. You need to, you can DM us, you can comment it below, but send us a topic or a question that we can discuss next week. Something yeah, juicy. Let's, you so know, come on, get into it. it. Yeah, let's we open books. It. Like, yeah, let's, let's talk about it. Let's really talk about it because that's what we're here for. So, yeah. Um. It's a wrap. We <laughs> it's out. A wrap. It's a wrap. Hey, first episode. <laughs> 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 Real bitches only. Real bitches only. They call me Damone cause I'm a real bitch only. Come up in the club with the real niggas on me. Pray it, pray on. Um, pray it. Yeah, you gotta do it with the C. You know. I like when a nigga check me, like rough me up a little bit, like yeah, like yeah. (laughs) Okay, I'm not saying smack me up and all that. I'm not saying um, you know how like what's holiday heart? He was whooping her ass. I'm not saying have me look like I got the bike holiday, but bitch, yeah, rough me up a little bit, like a little love tag. No, I ain't saying like snap the shit out of me, but like a little, ooh, I'm like, ooh, that's doing something to me. <laughs> Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Galleria, that's G A L L E R E A H. Yeah, that's it. I have TikTok, it's they call me Chuchi. How rude. I have TikTok, it's called They Call Me Chuchi. I haven't posted on there, but y'all might as well go ahead and follow. Y'all want to be in my business anyway. And I don't really get on Twitter, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You good, hate you me now? Somebody good. You might even put it over there. Yeah. 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 You get it, you get it, you don't get it. Yeah, real bitches get it. Whoever get it, you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, so. (laughs)